YouTube, what is going on? It is your boy Brandon back with another banger video. You already know what it is, man. Before we get into this video, though, make sure you guys are hitting that thumbs up button for your boy, subscribing to the channel, and hitting that notification bell so when I do drop new videos, you, yes, you will be the first one notified. And with that being said, man, let's get into today's video, which is a jersey review. You feel me? I have been looking for like jerseys that I, like on sale honestly um as you guys have known if you're like new to the channel or if you watch before um i'm currently working on like a jersey collection i'm really into sneakers and i love collecting sneakers obviously if you know my channel you know that's what this whole channel started on sneakers and then i started to go into vlogs and other types of content but at the end of the day i love to review stuff i love that you guys love watching the reviews clearly i think the one with, that i did with the america jersey um did like a thousand views or something like that which is super super dope so thank you guys so much for appreciating and with that though man we got another jersey review today <clears throat> i kind of just been on the search for jerseys but i've been pretty patient with it because jerseys can be you know they're pretty expensive they're like 90 dollars and up sometimes they'll get to like 180 or somewhere around so i kind of just wait till things go on sale and I've been searching like every day, like um, men's jerseys, men's like soccer jerseys on sale and stuff like that. And I came across this site, which was called Upper 90, I believe. And they had this specific jersey for like 20 bucks. And I think with shipping was like an extra five or something like that. So it came out to 25, less than 30 bucks for sure. And I was like, yo, I've never heard of this site, but let me try it out. So it is called Upper 90. I will link it down in the description below just in case you guys want to check out if they have any sales of the jerseys you've been looking for or whatever. But with that being said, man, let's open up this package. And right away, this is like pretty dope. You got you see the soccer balls on there and stuff like that. It's not like no regular just package, which it's kind of cool. I like that they added that hint, man. But anyways, I guess there's a QR code. I don't know if you guys like scan that and then maybe it'll take you to the site honestly i don't know but wait you know what you know what i have my phone right here actually so let's go and let's see if this qr code takes us anywhere man so i hit the qr code and it takes us to soccer post yeah it doesn't take you to the actual site i don't know what that's about whatever but eh i tried let's open up the the package you feel me Let's see what we got going on here. And I'm super excited. I'm super excited to add to the collection. You feel me? Anyways, we got the receipt in here, which is all freaking tangled up. But as you guys can see right here, we got the jersey, which is, yes, yes, yes. Club America otra vez. We have another Club America jersey. I love Club America. It's my favorite team when it comes to Liga MX. So when I seen this for like 20 bucks, I was like, fudge it, man. This is the 22 to 2023, I believe, somewhere around there. I forgot what, what exactly um, jersey year it was from. But uh, this jersey retails at $90. So I think it's the one below like the authentic. Um, but like I said, got it for like less than 30. So I was like, let me pull the trigger and let me see what's popping. You feel me? So... Here it is, packaging, let's open it up. Let's see what it's looking like. Super, super excited, man. I've been wanting to add jerseys to the collection. I've just been waiting for the right prices because like I said, it can get expensive like collecting jerseys and stuff, you know? So, here we go. This is the front right of the jersey right here. Super, super clean. Heck yeah, man. You got the AT&T logo, the Home Depot logo, the Nike, and then the Club America. Super, super dope. You got these side patches right here on the sleeves. Dope, 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 man. Dope, dope, dope. Honestly, this material feels really good, too. And then on the back of the jersey, it says Corona. And then, yeah, so this is dope, man. This is dope. You can't beat it, man. This is a size large, which I like to go like a little bit oversized and stuff just because I like that look, especially when it comes to soccer jerseys. Um, I think the oversized just looks pretty dope. And then usually I just get large either way because 
I usually get authentic jerseys, and when it comes with authentic jerseys, they come a little bit tighter. So I like to get the large so that it gives a better fit. But either way, lately I've been into like bigger type tees, so I decided to go with the large. And yeah, man, this is pretty fire. Honestly, in my opinion, though, I only got this because I mean it's dope, right? But I got it because of the price clearly. Um, but on jerseys. I don't really like when they put like the v-neck for some reason because I just don't like the look of the v-neck I like when it's like a clean a clean type of you know neck cut or whatever like rounded um, So I'm not really a fan of the v-neck, but I think it'll look dope with like I don't know maybe a hoodie underneath or something like that like something cool You know like a plain hoodie or something. I feel like that would look dope or just the right under T um, But either way man for the price and everything you cannot beat it on this jersey right here, the Nike logo and the um, Club America patch is like stitched somewhat. It's not like the authentic one where it has like a certain type of material. This is like actually like stitched. Hopefully you guys can see that right there. Super, super clean in my opinion though. This is a dope jersey, honestly. Um, I just wish again it had that rounded neck. Clearly this has like the V-neck type of look. I don't know why they do that on jerseys. I'm not really a fan of it, but it is what it is, man. Super, super dope though, in my opinion. I'm very happy, especially with the price point. So if you happen to look at jerseys and if you happen to come across the site called Upper 90, I can tell you right now that it is legit because, I mean, the jersey's right in front of me, you feel me? So it is legit. They actually had a lot of sales, so I might go back and peep the site. I wanted to get something that was somewhat cheap just in case if you know things didn't work out, it would be like, it would still hurt, but it wouldn't hurt as much. Um, but yeah, man, super, super dope. Like I said, this jersey comes at a retail price of $90, as you guys can see right there, hopefully. Um, and I got it for less than 30, which is super good. So yeah, man, another jersey added to the collection. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below if you would rock this jersey, if you've ever copped from upper 90 before. Um, if you plan on going on that site, if you think this jersey is trash, whatever. If you're a Chivas fan, I'm pretty sure you're going to think this jersey is trash. But whatever, man. Club America, el más grande club, ya saben. But yeah, man, super, super dope. Just wanted to show you guys my new jersey that is being added to the collection. And also, I am a LA Galaxy fan. So I plan to get the new jerseys because there's supposed to be two new jerseys. So I plan to get those jerseys when they come out. So hopefully I can get a review for you guys. I don't know what the time is when they're going to come out or whatever. Um, but yeah, also, um, just for the future, I hit on today's shock drop um, for the Jordan 4 breads, the reimagined ones. So I'll probably have a review of that coming up. Um, I have some other Air Forces, so I might do a review of that. I got content coming, man. Also, I'm thinking about getting a new camera for vlogging, so let me know if you guys like would like to see more vlogs and stuff. That way, I could really invest in that because I feel like this year I definitely want to get into vlogging. Like, don't get me wrong, I love I love these types of videos. I love um, like doing reviews for you guys, and I feel like you guys like it too because I get a good amount of views from doing reviews. Um, but yeah, man, definitely let me know down below what you guys think. If you guys would be like interested in seeing more of my vlogging when I go on trips or do like certain things. Maybe show you guys around where I live because I live in downtown Long Beach where there's like a lot to do. Um, or I could do like vlogs of like going to school and stuff, just kind of my life, you know? But I do travel a lot, I do go on a lot of trips, so I feel like vlogging would be super dope. I'm gonna start going to um, events. I'm actually going to a sneaker event March 16th. I will be at LA Got Soul. So if you're going to LA Got Soul, let me know down in the comments below. Um, hopefully we can talk at LA Got Soul. I've never met you before, which would be super, super dope. But I will vlog LA Got Soul for sure. I got some of my homies coming through too. So that's going to be a dope vlog. But yeah, man, appreciate you guys. Uh, lots of content coming in the future, as I've said before. Again, like I said at, the, at my first video of the year or second video of the year, um, my goal is to throw out at least 56 videos this year. Um, 56 videos minimum. So I think we're on number three or four so we got a long ways to go but there's a lot of time left in the year i got a lot of events in my head that i can already think of that i can record so it's gonna be dope man and also one last thing um maybe a podcast coming soon i've had a podcast before 
and I kind of just let it go. But now this year that I'm like really on the grind for content creation and really just want to test my limits and my how much I can create, I really just want to test it out, especially because I have the brand. Um, me and my boy Chango have the brand create. So I really want to live up to like the hype. I really want to live up to the whole purpose of the brand, which is to create. Um, I want people just to know, you know, like I, I'm actually creating. I'm not just. I'm not just, you know, working with a brand or not just starting a brand that's called Create. I'm actually like creating stuff and that's what the brand means, you know? So i um, definitely gonna be creating more, but I can go on and on and on, which is why I'm considering restarting a podcast. So let me know if you guys would be interested in that as well. But again, that is gonna do it for this video. Let me know again, your thoughts and opinions down below. As you guys know, I respond to every single comment even if I don't get to it right away, eventually I will. I promise, I promise. I love chopping it up with y'all. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet. And if you are subscribed, make sure to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend's mama, to tell your mama, to tell your dad, to tell, just tell somebody. Just roll down the window and yell at somebody in the street to subscribe to underscore your boy Brandon. Because we need the subscribers. It'll definitely help the channel. It is free support. But again, with that being said, I've said this like 30 times. I've tried to end this video, but I just can't. But anyways, that is going to be it for this video. I appreciate y'all. Mi gente, los quiero mucho. It is your boy, Brandon, and I am signing out. Peace.